Hi there, this is Darren from Treasure Life Family Farms. Today uh, we're going to uh, get our earthquake auger out of the box and see how that goes. We uh, had a uh, three-point uh, drill bit uh, on the back of our Kubota tractor and that one was about 50 or 60 year old three-point thing that I used when I was a kid in Montana. When I got the uh, farm going here in Illinois, my brother no longer used that one anymore out there at the farm. He had a hydraulic orbit motor driven one on the uh, front of his uh, bi-directional tractor, so he didn't use it anymore, so he let me bring it and gave it to me. And uh, we used it to build the pole barn. And then uh, somewhere after that, maybe about three years ago, some guys stopped in and they were gonna buy a manure spreader from us. And uh, well, they bought the manure spreader, but they also wanted that drill. So I sold to them, I think for about 300 bucks. New ones are like 600, so they did okay. But it, you know, again, 50, 60 years old and been through five wars or maybe more. Um, so, so uh, the guy got 300 bucks for that. Well, this thing here is, uh, I think, still under 300 with uh, the extension. I ordered extension. It's not here. It'll be here tomorrow. For this, it's an earthquake auger, 8-inch auger bit, uh, basically a... Uh, weed eater motor on top of it and uh, supposedly you can drill holes with this thing and seems like you'd, you'd be lifting a lot on it but we'll, we'll see so we've got one hole to drill today we're gonna try to put a post in for a gate and uh, then beyond that we want to build fence for goats and a, and a couple cows so we're gonna be putting in a lot of corner posts I think at least six sets and each one's got three so it's gonna be a lot of holes to drill uh, for us in the next year or two. So we basically traded out the old PTO driven uh, auger on the back of the tractor for one of these. This is brand new. Hopefully this goes good for a while. So we'll get it unboxed, get it rest away out of the box for you, and then uh, we will uh, see how we do with uh, drilling a hole today. All right, uh, not a lot of assembly uh, happening here. Pretty much all comes ready to go as far as I can tell. The uh, tip of the bit here turns in. So I guess that's good that that's replaceable. Looks like they already weld the front on it here. And then we hooked it up here. I'll have to read the instructions and see if that's a grade 8 bolt or grade 5 or what it is because after it uh, eventually wears out I suppose I should put the right thing back in uh, looks like it's 50 to 1 fuel uh, got a primer bulb some things like that so we're gonna throw in some uh, primer bulb here we're gonna throw in some uh, gas and then we'll put this thing in the gator and head off down to uh, where we're gonna drill our hole uh, for our gate post all right, so this is gonna be our first hole with this uh, earthquake auger. We got it off of Amazon. It's on Walmart somewhere else. Something I didn't show you before is it's actually got an on-off switch right here. We'll turn that on. And it's got a choke run. I started it up once already, so maybe it doesn't need much choke. We'll see. But this is our first hole with this thing. This ground has been packed because we mounted our concrete mixer onto the uh, pallet the fork on the uh, tractor and we've been driving in dumping concrete backing out and it's been wet this this ground is super hard so we'll see how we do here may not be that impressive with uh, the ground being this stupid hard but we'll give it a try so uh, here goes our first hole with our earthquake Oop.
So I would say uh, the first impression is, is that it's way better than digging the hole by hand. Uh, my second impression is, is this thing will make a man out of you pretty quick too. It's, uh, it's quite a thing to keep a hold on. I would say get your good heavy gloves and uh, you know, take your time. So we'll uh, finish out our hole here. I think on this one, we're gonna plant a six by six and this is only an eight inch uh, bit. So we're gonna end up using the manual tools on this quite a bit. And, uh, but we'll get a pretty good head start with this thing and dig the rest by hand. All right, thanks.